Welcome to the first lesson of Introduction to Programming. In this course topic, you're going to learn about the main building blocks of Python, variables and data types. Learning to program happens at different rates for every student, so make sure to take your time to work through these lessons at your own pace. Let's start by looking at how you can navigate the course topics. Each topic is designed to help you learn by doing and is made up of learning loops with all of the tools that you need to gain and practice new skills. Every learning loop starts with a video to explain a concept and then gives you the opportunity to practice the lesson before checking in. Understanding each of the concepts in a topic and practicing with the activities and exercises after each video will give you a strong foundation for future lessons. The check-ins at the end of each loop are there to help you find any areas where you could improve your understanding. So don't be afraid to jump back to previous videos if you want to review a concept. Be sure to complete all of the learning loops for each topic and you'll be able to use your new Python skills with confidence. Finally, before we jump in, we're going to start each course topic with a lesson that isn't specifically related to Python, but focuses on helping you become the best developer and problem solver that you can be. For this lesson, we're talking about one of the most powerful things you can do while learning, and that is asking for help. Everyone in software development hits roadblocks as they learn and grow. But the great thing is, every hurdle you might run into while learning to code is something that all of us other programmers have faced before. The challenge of learning to code is a shared collective experience. The common quality of all of the people who have made it through their first programming course and become strong developers is that they are relentlessly resourceful in asking for help. So don't give up. You'll sometimes need to look for creative solutions for your problems, such as Googling your error, searching questions that other students have asked in the Discord, or identifying a concept to go back and review. The Discord is also a great way to share your own specific questions. Just remember to make it easy for others to help you by giving a detailed description of the problem that you're facing. Now let's get started with learning Python. Jump into the next lesson to learn about Python variables.